This is Eugene Panrudkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Chromebook 11, second generation, 3120, and I'm going to show you how to replace the power jack on a Dell Chromebook 11, 3120, second generation. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is our school customers are telling us that they frequently have to replace power jacks on this model and I'm going to show you how to real quick and it's a pretty simple procedure. So the tools I'm going to use is a PH1 electronics screwdriver, PH stands for Phillips and one is the size, and a metal spudger to pry the back lid open. And uh, we have these toolkits and if you're a school IT or technology administrator or manager, we will send this, this toolkit to you for free. This toolkit actually includes a set of five tools that you have here. So to get the free toolkit, go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a tab at the top that says schools and then there will be a contact form. Just fill out the contact form and say you want a free toolkit and that's it. All right, uh, so let's get on with it. So we close the laptop and we have to undo the bottom cover. It has a total of seven screws that you have to remove and we use our PH1 screwdriver and I removed the other remaining six so there's only one for me to remove and then we pry the back cover open and that's where our metal spudger tool comes in handy and find a gap in the seam between the rubber part and the plastic back lid part and just go around the bottom lid. And sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's not that quick, but that's it, it comes off. So what happens is when um, people charge the laptop, either the, uh, either the connection in the power jack becomes loose or the charger breaks off in there and the tip is stuck in there. So the power jack has to be replaced. A long time ago, these used to be soldered on the motherboard itself, but since the laptop maker saw it was a problem, they made it so that you can uh, replace it separately pretty easily. So that's what I'm going to do. And next thing we need to do is there's one screw that's holding the power jack. Remove that screw and I'm going to remove it and take out the power jack and remove the connector. I'll show you the part number for the power jack. It's uh, here's the part number. So if you can get it, it's DD0ZM8AD000. ZM8 DC end cable. Uh, we have these available from us, from screen surgeons, to sell to schools or retail customers, regular customers. And what you do for schools is go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com, and click on the schools tab and fill out the form and say that you need the power jack and we can provide pricing. Uh, we don't have it on our in our online catalog just yet, so if you're a retail customer, you can also go to the school form and just say you're a retail customer and need this power jack. Okay, so once you get this power jack in, make sure it looks the same, then uh, plug it in and mount it here and put the screw in and put the back lid on. And that's it, pretty simple, maybe a two minute procedure. And thank you very much, and good luck. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.